Yubiko! Usami-chan! Did you find Shinonomi-senpai? In a word, yes, but... She ran off somewhere near the school. Guy named Sekigahara is looking for her right now. Uh, who's that? The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. It's 1985? Really? We came here to get you. You ready? Y yeah. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. There's... a huge crater by the school. That's where we're going. Oh, really? Is this that robot you were talking about? That's weird. Wasn't there more than one android here? Now that you mention it, yeah. Ryoko-san, so you still don't remember. They're taking advantage of your hazy memory. Stop this. Get him. 426, your time is up. Is she trying to beat me down there? Shinonome-senpai can control the androids? She's being manipulated by the one in charge of them. We need to go after her. If she seals off the gate, it's all over. What's on your mind? That guy just now. Are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yeah. We don't have much of a choice. What's the report? Identified evidence of activity. A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. So how are we supposed to get down there? Isn't it really deep? 300 meters. That quadruped's got a crane equipped. A crane? That does sound like construction equipment. We'll use it like an elevator. It'll take us all the way to the bottom. Let's go. Wait for us! Wait. What in the fresh hell is this? This is too much for me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with heights. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. Look! The same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. <sighs> Usami-chan? The way we came in is completely dark. I never want to do that again. Don't worry. We'll be home soon. Looks like something out of a movie set. Aiken. You 
you recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Is she okay? She will be. I was worried for a moment, but she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case, looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. What could this be? off the radar after that incident I mentioned. What did you do? How did you make contact? All I did was poke this thing. That voice from the TV screen. Didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? Hey, just now... Did you call that person Kisaragi? Kisaragi is... The control system for Sentinel number 16. Why do we have the same name? Because... He is you. Rather... A different you. Huh? I get it now. Tell me Kisaragi. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. Give it another try. Huh? Oh. Kisaragi, please respond. If you're there, answer us. I managed to connect to the system and determine my location. The answer is troubling. Oh? I'm... outside the world. What does that mean? This place is not recognized in any era. This is bad. I'm being denied access to all sectors. It's universal control. It's trying to get rid of me. At this rate, I'll... It just closes right away now. It just clo- What's this universal thing? Universal control. It's here, where the primary gate is housed. This underground mainframe monitors the world. Her location. It appears the mainframe does not want us to know. Looks that way. This is bad! The androids are coming! 
shit. They're over here, too. Stop. The command's not working. I'm out of ammo. We need to shift. Gather close. Now! This is... I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet! You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home! M Miwako? We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako! You're right. She's gone. We must have left her behind. Let's go back. It's no use. She's not like us. The people here, everyone in the city, we're all managed by that computer underground. Isn't that right, Akun? Hmm. To make sure no one impacts this world. To make sure no one finds out the truth. Universal control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. She knew too much. Miwako's taking a while. She said she had some papers to deliver, right? To the art room, I think? Yeah. Mm. What's up, Iori? You look bummed. Huh? I I'm fine. We're going to Tsutsuchi today, right? Miwago did say she wanted to stop by the record store. She wants that new Idol album, right? There she is. Sorry to keep you waiting. You know what? I saw Natsuno-chan just now, but... Hey, the bus is here! Save it for later! Wait for us! The sun's already gone down. It's because you were waiting on me. I 
I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Miwa-chan. We couldn't even get the record you wanted. I can't believe all three stores were sold out. It's getting kinda late. My dad's a worry ward. Maybe I should call home. Well, there's a phone booth over there. Are you gonna call? Yeah. Hi, Dad. It's me. Uh-huh. How'd it go? Pretty much how I thought. He wants me to come home ASAP. Figures. The train's probably fastest. Oh. What's wrong? Do you see that guy? Oh, yeah. It's the bully from before. I thought so. Pompadour dude? What about him? I think it was last week. He was harassing us by the school gate. You got harassed? Dude, everything okay? Luckily, Neji can stepped in and saved us. He... he did? <laughs> Dang. What now? Should we go around the other way? That'd be best. Come to think of it, I've seen a few guys like him. They've been hanging around our school lately. Hey! <laughs> what school are you from? Didn't they tell you not to roam around after dark? Um... Who's this geezer? I'm Heizo Onishi. Police Force. Juvenile Division. Uh-oh. You may know me better as Onishi the Ogre. He's gonna take us into custody. Judging from the uniform, you're from Sakura High. It's 8 o'clock. What are you doing out at this hour? Um, well... We were shopping for a record and it got dark before we knew it. It's true. It's dangerous for young girls like you to be out on the streets at night. The reason doesn't matter. We're sorry. If it happens again, I'll write you up. Now hurry on home. Something to say. 
So listen up, will ya? Hey, knock it off. You know, all my life I've been shit out of luck when it comes to women. Until now, I'm telling you, girl, the moment I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. <laughs> Get it, Wajiba-san? No! I consider myself a man who minds his own business. But I can't abide by this. You need to leave those girls alone. Get out of here. Now. Who the hell are you? Another poser, huh? <sighs> Hard of hearing, are we? Don't say I didn't warn you. It's you! You better not be messing around. Damn it! This bastard's a boxer! A tad rusty. You got a few hits in. Um... Thank you. But why... Uh, mere coincidence. You're lying. Uh, they must have heard the commotion. Uh. Are you guys okay? Husami-chan! I got the cop. Care to explain what happened here, Wajima? I feel much better with the policeman here. Thanks, Usami-chan. You should have just bolted past the ticket gate. You're such a slowpoke sometimes. Sorry. Anyway, how'd you get out of this mess? A really cool guy came in and saved us. You mean the one who ran downtown? Yes, that's right. I wonder what school he goes to. Well, I'm glad you're okay. We can leave the rest to the cop. Let's go home. <sighs> what should I do? I wonder where he is now. I might never see him again. If I don't run after him, I know I'll regret it. Even if he turns me down, I have to tell him how I feel. <laughs> Sorry, guys! It has to be him. He's nearby. someone else. You know. 
Damn it. Let go of me. Don't even think of drawing your gun here. Watch this. Getting away, Sekigahara. Just run! Forget about me! Is this girl with you? No. The hell's going on here? Perfect timing. Give me a hand. So women and children are fair game, huh? What? I don't stand for that, buddy. Arrived at this. Over here! Get on! Right! The girl. She seemed to be associated with the men in black. Did you recognize her? No, it was too dark. I see. You might want to hold on a little tighter. You're gonna fall. Uh, okay. Where do you live? I'll take you home. It's now or never. Hey, um... I know this is sudden, but... I need to tell you, I... I love you. What's this all of a sudden? Some kind of prank from this era? It's not a prank! I know... You already have Shinonome-senpai. It's probably awkward to hear this from me. But... Even if it ends up breaking my heart... I just needed to tell you. I needed you to know how I feel. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Ryoko-san is not my girlfriend. Huh? I spent a lot of time alone back home. Parents weren't around. So she stepped in. Looked after me like a big sister. She's family to me. In that sense, I do care for her. I want her to be happy. That's all. You mean it? Middle school was a rough time for me. Haven't heard a thing about love since I was a kid. Until now, that is. So she's not his girlfriend after all. You know, it seems the two of us are bound by fate. What would you do if I told you I'm an assassin from the future who came here to kill you? It wouldn't matter. I would still love you. A guy whose name you don't even know? Well... Yeah. <laughs> you feel that strongly, huh? Didn't see that coming. My name is A. Sekigahara. A. Sekigahara. So, um, I haven't heard enough. <sighs> Let's get you home. Don't follow me again, all right? I'll be in touch. Okay.
worked. The terminal's closed off. What's wrong, Ryoko? Are you alright? You're not hurt somewhere, are you? No. Just tired, that's all. Hey, hey! Don't try to cozy up to Ryoko-san. She's not your girlfriend anymore. Wait! Gojo-senpai and Shinonome-senpai dated? I fail to see how that's relevant, Sekigahara. Ah, yes. For about half a year during middle school. We split before we graduated. But why? I don't remember. It was her idea, and so was the breakup. Though I couldn't tell you the reason. My guess is you were the reason. The point is, stop bothering Ryoko-san. Eikun! We did it!
Mm -hmm. I should head to school. My yaki silver pond's waiting for me. No, wait. That's not the point. Can't lose focus. I need to find Okino. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yaki soba pan. If I had to guess, Okino must be a cat person. Well, not that that's particularly important to know. Okino. somewhere to be. Well, all right. I don't have any money. Hmm? I know that cat. It's Okino's little friend again. That kitty is so cute. Does it live at the school? Oh, you mean Lucky? Lucky? Oh, you know, because he's a lucky cat. Lucky, is it? A cat of many names, it sounds like. What's so lucky about him? You just hang around this cat. And you start finding money everywhere. <gasps> what? Seriously? I mean, it's... it's usually like a couple coins. Oh, so just lose change. Hmm. Well, worth a try. Let's see what's under the box, shall we? coin. That's a lucky find. I have 100 
hundred yen on me. A hundred fifty yen? I don't have the money. coin. That's a lucky find. No, there wouldn't be any around here. Yaki Soba Pond, please. Sorry for making you wait, Yaki Soba Pond. But it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. Mm. <laughs> delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pond. See Okino anywhere. Is he not at school? Oh. Isn't that one of the Sentinel Scout units? Why is this here? This is not good. And he's. You. You're the one from the shrine. Where we cross time. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't move? Something's happened. Did Okino get him too? I should get him back to the hideout. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to carry him. What a hassle. <sighs> what am I, just another one of Okino's cronies? I don't have to run around cleaning up his messes. Stop! Plastic gizmo! What's Sentinel technology doing here? How did you get here? I'll take a look. What is this? What were you thinking, Okino? What's wrong, Takatoshi? What's wrong is this core system. Oh, figured it out, huh? Okino? Professor Shinonome found it. Daimos? Really? Everyone knows that's one of the old kaiju survival sims. Even I played that thing all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? I'm just reusing the infrastructure, environment management code. Relax. We're not gonna get kaiju popping up. Still... And hey, faster than building the code base from scratch, right? Come on. You love me, so you can trust me, right? The work's done. We've done all we can for the human race's future. As long as this colony's life support holds out. As long as I've got even a second more, I'd rather spend it with you. Tsukasa. You're right. 
I'd rather be holding you right now myself. I'll see if I can explain it to Professor Shinonome. Thanks. I love you, Takatoshi. What is this? That wasn't me, was it? But Okino and I were together. In love. It's impossible. Hey, what did you just show me? Put it up again. Here begins my final log. This isn't the same recording. Tsukasa's dead. <sighs> the medical bio kits are no good to me now. So we got an hour or two left. Why did it come to this? It was all logistical debate over Project Ark. An energy dispute. And Tsukasa. He argued to cancel the plan. To divert the energy to life support. If that damn Ogata and his cronies hadn't come armed... No. Too late to point fingers now. Izumi-san shot Tsukasa. So I made him pay. Him and his allies. As for the survivors, there's Professor Shinonome and Ida. They made it out safe. And me. Though, I figure I don't have long left. The hangar's blown out. And the colony's in ruins. It won't even take 20 hours. All we've worked for will be gone. I came here so I could protect people. And now I'll die here. With my friend's blood on my hands. If... <laughs> Project Ark actually goes through. <laughs> if... I actually get to be reborn somehow. I hope I live to protect the... like Okino's with him, too. Okino! Oh, good. You're safe. Hijiyama-kun? What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Uh. What? That image. It was definitely Okino. But what even was that? Uh. Something on my face, or...? You didn't go to school today? Oh, yeah. I skipped to do a little time travel. Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Were you out looking for me at school? No, uh... No, really? He's safe. Why is that a good thing? Why does seeing Okino make me feel better? So you're still dressing like that. <gasps> you! Whoa there. You move, I shoot. Bastard must have followed me. 
You led me right to Okino's doorstep. No. You're here to kill him? Hijiyama-kun, calm down. He's A. Sekigahara. He and I play for the same team. <clears throat> Isn't that right? You've done really well holding on like that. I think I know why you're here. You want what only I can give you. You can drop the gun. I won't run anymore. Okino. I need it. Please, help me. Sure. Since you finally asked nicely. You two... Don't tell me. You two are... Steady? <laughs> what if we are? What does that matter to you? Sure. Damn that Okino. How long is he going to toy with me? Then, I'm not thinking straight myself. Okino's a man. Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would steal him? Damn, Okino. That was too far for a joke. <sighs> anyway... What was going on with those talking images? If I recall... They said something about being reborn? Time. Okino. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura's wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. Oh, that must be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she seems like quite a teacher. I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Now that's done. Wait. Yes? Uh, well, uh... Th there was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh, no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually... They can't move, because they broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance quick. Wait, I mean, I, th their leg's mostly fine, actually. They scraped their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very... scraped. Hmm. 
Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The chick is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. About time for a retreat. This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. What's wrong? You can take a closer look. <sighs> what do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms. Those legs. It's like an iron giant. A 2,000 ton invincible iron giant at that. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleships? I don't know much about the technical side. But it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then... It sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. But I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh? Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know... I'm just delivering documents on the Professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the Professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well... The Professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, Keitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. <sighs> K 
can't be. It is. If it isn't Kate Taro, in the flesh. Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama. I never imagined you'd wind up here too. Takatoshi-san? Uh, it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's had time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. It really is you, Takatoshi-san. Okino said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yakisoba pond. Oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yakisoba pond. It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any hamburger? What is this hamburger? I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. You overestimate your burger, my friend. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, that's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. <clears throat> what? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. Shikishima and the Sarah's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So, we lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. What do you mean? Explain yourself. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place. I think it'd be better to show you instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s... So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Tamao-san's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here, either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids. But there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. 
If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. What? What are those? Them, then? The ones you've been talking about? Yeah, they're all Daimos. Destroyers of worlds. Some of them are the size of the Sentinels. And those aren't even the biggest. What you're seeing is just a fraction of their forces. A unit of hundreds has already passed through here. Did these monsters eat everyone? They don't eat. The people have all been captured, thanks to a buried UFO. Well, a saucer. A saucer? That's what the Daimos are after. Their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer. Specifically to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother... and Tamausan... These things took them away? Wait... If the world was destroyed in the 1940s... Then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean... These are... Parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. You used to borrow Keitaro science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this... It doesn't feel real. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't. Yes. Everything looks like it's made of gold. I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. I held Chihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. I don't care who Chihiro says she is. She's still family. Takatoshi-san. You actually showed up? That Sentinel belongs to us, doesn't it? Why wouldn't I show up? <sighs> so that's where it is, huh? Yeah. The Sentinel's inside that building. Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon? All this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. Takatoshi-san, 
If anything happens to me, could you look after Chihiro? Don't be stupid! <sighs> Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. And if it ever looks grim, I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. Now don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. <sighs> All right. Let's go. We're taking back our Sentinel. That's what I want to hear. Ah, there it is. Just how I remember it. Freeze! Another one? He's still alive. I'm using low power shots, but still. It feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. I want to thank you, Takatoshi-san. I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. It's still a little too early to be thanking me. Right. Natsuno-san's already out there fighting. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all right? I'll catch up to you soon. BJ. A different me from a different time. According to him, I should be able to activate the Sentinel now. It worked. All right, no time to waste. Natsuno-san, can you hear me? Miura-kun, thank God. I thought it was all over. Just stay put. I'll be right there. Okay. I have to protect my family. And everyone I hold dear. Even if it costs me my life. Get a bite to eat? Uh, yeah, good idea. You can choose, Miwako. Is something wrong with Sami-chan? First you helped me look for that record. Now this. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Oh, come on, don't overthink it. I, I just figured, you know, you know all the best places to go. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure it's okay for me to decide? Of course. In that case... You cool with that, Iori? Yes. Is that okay? Sure. What do you feel like today, Miwa-chan? You're about to find out. Places didn't open till late. They don't, but you can still order yakitori for takeout. I've been wanting to try it forever. It's so good. Whoa, you're right. It's hot off the grill and charred just right. What is this, a festival? Feels weird to walk around with this. You're right. People are giving us looks. They say high school girls can get away with anything. 
But this is embarrassing. Just try a bite of Sami-chan. <sighs> oh. Mmm. Whoa, that is good. Mmm. I love the sauce. Well then, now that that's taken care of, do you have something to tell us, Yuri-chan? Huh? Don't think we can't tell. What are you guys talking about? Come on, spill the beans. I thought we were friends, Yuri-chan. Are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? We have a right to know! Did you at least get his name? Don't tell me... You just ran up to him and confessed. Uh... His name is... A. Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Of all people... You know him, Usami-chan? Well, uh... Let's just say you should stay away from that guy. Why? He's not a normal high school kid. He's involved in some shady business. I... I know our ways of life are worlds apart. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid. But I can't stop how I feel. Yuri... Fuyusaka. Huh? Sekigahara-kun? Come with me. What? But... You. What do you want with Yori? Tell me, Kisaragi. There's no time to explain. Just come. Please, Fuyusaka. <sighs> Yori-chan! Follow your heart! If you need to go, then go! Right! Do you still have those dreams? Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. <sighs> no way. Future technology does have that capability. You mean, Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun the same? Karabe? You're acquainted with Tamao-san? Tamao? No, I meant Juro Karabe from my class. Juro? So that's it. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess? No. It's better you hear it from her directly. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. She's at the park? Hey, wait! Looks like we got here first. Let's wait here. Hmm. What is it? Um... Hey, Sekigahara-kun. Would you mind if I called you... A-kun? If that's what you want. Just like you. Right here in Ashitaba City. Well, 80 years into the future, that is. You saw it, right? The wreckage. It'll happen here any day now. 
just as you saw in your dreams. This town will come under attack by the Daimos. If those dreams were Miss Morimura's memories, that's why you both came here, right? To fight the Kaiju. Not Morimura. Not anymore. At this point, it's up to us. Us? The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. You're one of them. But... This world is beyond saving. Huh? Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. <sighs> the city may go down, but it won't take us with it. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. What about Miwa-chan? She's still here. And so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. But your parents aren't real. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura came here from Sector 1. You are no different. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. <sighs> I don't have a choice, do I? In that case, I'll do it. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight. And protect everyone! And how do you plan on doing that? <sighs> Juro has no memory of what happened. But I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabi-kun? What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Oh... That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Do you get it now? <sighs> Akun. Um. Well. You know what? I'll go check if Miss Morimura is here yet. yusaka -san. She looks just like in my dreams. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To expose your secrets. She has a right to know. Miss Morimura. Hmm. Go on. Tell her. Is it true? Are my dreams really your memories? <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? If you're not gonna talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Fine, I'll explain. That was my intention. But things have changed. Oh? Operation Aegis is all we have left. So then... What's going to happen to me? Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. You do carry my memories within you. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. You mean... the Kurabe-kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? No. I have nothing to do with his current state. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi-kun. Oh... Your memories just hit me. I understand how you feel. Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? 
It can't be. Tell me your real objective. She's not lying about her feelings. I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> Tell me. The truth is, I am no longer human. <sighs> when the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. Then what are you now? An illusion produced by universal control. That's all that's left of me. You're... an illusion? I, I don't understand. How did that happen? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. In short, it's not possible. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. So that's what a loop really is. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. What plan? The plan made in the year 2188 to continue the species. But I'm no longer a part. I'm nothing but a doll held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. So you turn to the version of you who was born into this world. Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Seki Gaharakun. I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. You would be correct. And you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Huh? Are you going to shoot me right here and now? You can't do that! <laughs> if Operation Aegis were put into motion, this world would be cut off from universal control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, we never had a way out in the first place. I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. all of a sudden and then you pull me away to a place like this <gasps> S 
Stay still. Huh? What? Um... Uh, um... I'm not ready for this. Found it. Odd place to be shot. Whoa. What is that? An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't move. That should do it. If what 426 said is true, that's all I need to do. I registered my sentinel. Sentinel number 15. It's a robot used to fight the Daimos. It was mine, but it's in better hands with you. It really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? Never mind. It's nothing. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Believe in yourself. Uh, Akun. Just as Akun said, I'm going to believe in myself now. Mom, Dad. Miwa-chan and the rest. I can do it. I can protect you all. It's time. I may be just a schoolgirl. But now, I'm a schoolgirl with a giant robot! that maybe you've got a point i should slow down and think a little still though i just i want to make sure you're gonna be safe kisaragi jeez why do you sound so serious all of a sudden if you're going back then i'm coming with you <sighs> i got something i gotta do just wait right here a sec oh sure Big robot. Well, the Sentinel. If I could just pilot that thing. If this crazy loop does eventually become reality, maybe I could at least beat down a couple kaiju. Oh, Ogata kun. What's wrong? Okino's here. Looks like it worked. Get out of my way. Just you and me, Tsukasa Okino. Can't run this time. Uh. Last time, I got out of this place by chasing him. For sure. Hichiyama? Hey, what's wrong? 
Can't move, huh? Over here. Hurry. She's more badass than I am. That's why I gotta break him. I... I... They're here again.